Excuse me. Hi. 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 I, I, know, I know this is very, very cheeky, but I loved your style. Thank you so much. Have a good day, yeah? Thank you. Okay. Right. I know that one's, that one's a bit more difficult. And I'll, I'll, yeah. yeah. They'll, they'll, we'll, we'll go into that. But how... Yeah, yeah. I think I think you're just even looking at it prior to approaching. It's just that same point in terms of hesitation. So I'm going to really take that on board and decide very early on. Look, am I going to go for it? Um, am I going to not go for it? If I don't go for it, I just move on to the next yeah. one. And it's absolutely fine to be like, you know what? Actually, I'm, I'm not. Sh- I'm not too sure on her, or I'm not interested yeah. in her, or you know what? I think the scenario is going to be a bit too too overcomplicated. As long yeah. as that doesn't become an excuse of like, oh, of course, I'm going to yeah. just miss out every opportunity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it, but it's just kind of bearing in mind, of like, am I, do I want to commit to going to talk to that person? It is, you know, and I kind of like the statement of, is the juice worth the squeeze? You know, That's a good one, yeah. Is she, is she worthwhile, you know, doing that kind of chase for? Now, I purposely kind of like brought this video in because I felt that actually... That stretch, uh, I mean, we, we were on uh, Regent Street. Yes, we were, that. we were. Yeah. Now, that stretch, that was, there was a window of opportunity just at the start yeah. um, when, I, when I started recording that. And then, because you didn't go for it straight away, she got caught in the crowd. Yes. And then that crowd kind of went on for a good round that, that bend of Regent Street. Yeah, yeah. So, of course, then I had to quickly try and play catch up to you, which is why the camera looks like, you know, yeah, that's why we're, in a, yeah, we're in a moment in Cloverfield where the yeah, camera's yeah, yeah, like yeah. going all over. Um, uh, and then, um, uh, and then obviously there was that, that scream noise, and of course it was, had nothing to do with it. <laughs> uh, it was a, I think a woman got attacked by a pigeon actually. At, at okay, right, right. I didn't know that. Um, yeah, because it was behind you and it was in front of me. Okay, sure, sure. Um, but um, but yeah, of course. Then when you you stopped her, you know, you were kind of behind her for a long while at that. Yeah, point. yeah. And I I, I think. I could kind of get the sense of the fatigue just in in that that you, you kind of chased her for so long or followed her for so yeah. long that you were like, oh, right, I've lost my energy for, for yeah, yeah, for the for the for the So approach. that's just why it's important just to try and go for it as, uh, exactly. you know, as quickly as you can. Cool. Um, definitely, again, pick your moments. Just if you see that window of opportunity, just go straight for it. Otherwise, yeah, you genuinely have to wait until the crowd had kind of either moved on or she went around the crowd. Yeah. And she had a European accent as well, so, and I know I said this to you yesterday, but um, I would have just picked up on that and gone, you know what, I absolutely love your accent. I didn't, I wouldn't have expected you to hurt sound European. Yeah. Where are you from? I've got the hiccups now. Um, no problem. Like that, just that would have, might have opened up a conversation. Hard to say, because it was just a very, you, you made your delivery, she said, thank you very much, and then she went one way, you went the other way. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, but... I think, yeah, in an alternative scenario, potentially, by just saying the statement of, I love your accent, yeah. or like, oh, wow, you've got, you've got a really beautiful accent, or oh, I've never heard that, I, I can't recognise your accent, where are you from? However you'd want to word it, just because of that curiosity, it would spark a conversation. Okay, fine. And it's, you know, there's nothing crazy about it, you're just literally like, where are you from? I don't recognise that accent. Yeah, okay. You, you might open up more and then if she says oh, I'm from Slovenia then you can say oh I've never been to Slovenia or you're the first Slovenian that I've ever met okay, okay. are you friendly like, like, yeah, what's, yeah, yeah, yeah. what's yeah, the situation <laughs> yeah something like that and even then you've got questions so like what are you doing in London yeah, um, yeah it, it, you can kind of then expand stuff and then she might say like this or that and then you can ask more questions yeah absolutely and stuff as well I've got you um, it's a bit like actually with the uh, the uh, the Indian girl. I mean, she said that actually she was in London for only two weeks. Yeah. Um, as well, so um, because of then discovering, you know, just through very simple topics of conversation, you can get a better sense of what the scenario is, and sure. actually, you know, is there an opportunity for a pursuit or not? Yeah. Um, so yeah. So does that cut? That no, kind no, of make it, sense it makes so a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. Just essentially just. Be very, very quick with the approaches, which I, th- I think will do wonders. Get in front, full, full commitment, and also just listen to what she said. You know, she had, she had an accent, so just, just go upon what you hear. And listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, you don't have to then like start thinking like, oh, well, when I, when I saw you, I was thinking like, oh, you look like you might be a fashion yeah, yeah, model. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's, it's too much sometimes, yeah, yeah, and it's also puts you on the spot to try and be creative. And if you're not necessarily in the mood to be creative, or if you haven't thought about something prior to what you were about to ask. It can be very difficult. Yeah. But then what can be a really good exercise for you, especially if you do go out on your own, even consider like on some of the days that you go out, just practicing improv by when people walk past you, 
notice something about them and then ask yourself what kind of question would I ask that person okay, okay. that gives me genuine curiosity um, about their fashion or about how they look you know, do they look European? Are they? Did you hear an accent? Maybe, yeah. maybe they walked past and they had a perfume that yeah. you were like, "Wow, that is a really nice perfume." And you go back and say, "You know what? You are absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Your perfume is amazing. What, what, what are you wearing?" And they go like, "Oh, I'm wearing this." And you're like, "Oh, you, you were, you came out today to purposely try and pick up guys." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That kind Make of him like, yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, suddenly that can kind of make. The, that playful situations um, play out but then there's nothing crazy in that just yeah. curiosity curiosity yeah. literally curiosity so but yeah does that make, make no, sense no it makes sense that's, that's a quite good ex- exercise just looking at how, how people are dressed and just thinking about what questions you can possibly ask yeah, and like, seg it like you know? sitting in a coffee shop I mean you could like watching people walk by you could say right what, what guess could you make about the guy with the, uh, the red backpack yeah, he's just potentially a personal trainer or someone really kind of into the gym or looking into fitness. That's from what I can tell. He's got like a red, blue kind of Sports Direct kind of yeah. <laughs> logo thing. Maybe maybe he's just come from work. Yeah, um, Yeah, maybe he's just gone to the gym. Maybe he is a personal trainer. Maybe he's, a, he's an entrepreneur. Maybe he's a billionaire. He might be a billionaire, yeah, you know. He, and he's just literally casually strolling down the street. Make him you know, feel normal, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but these are then things you could be genuinely curious about. Like, if, yeah. okay, I mean, he's, he's a guy, but if you were then to be stopping in here you say mate you know what I really like your style you look like you must be like a billionaire on your day off like yeah, yeah. What, what's the situation and, and he'd, he'd have a laugh and he'd probably say like, oh yeah you know I've just come from work or you know, oh, you yeah, know yeah, I work yeah. seven days a week and then people open up sure. um, okay there's no actual women to that go past that <laughs> I, use, I, use, I use, use another example but you know does that at least though kind of like no it make, makes a lot of sense I think that. Tom Perro said something years ago rip RIP but something similar but that, that's actually a really good exercise and so improv is really important I've yeah. gone to a couple of classes haven't pursued it uh, properly and it doesn't even have to be any well you don't even have to go as far as a class it's yeah. just more or less thinking like when you're when you see someone what would you like to ask them okay um, what, and, and it's easier to actually ask a question than to sometimes make a statement yeah. Because if you don't know what kind of statement to make, yeah. then it means that you just haven't been given a topic for you to be able to improv on. I got you. So once you've got the topic, then you can ask questions. So like, you know, we said about the guy looking like a personal trainer. Or okay, with this woman walking by, what would you what kind of guess would you make? She's she she's got a kind of Californian vibe, so she's got kind of a blue kind of um, White pants, kind of relaxed, yeah. baggy. Like kind maybe of she has like stuff. a villa by the uh, the sea. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah. Villa by the sea, smokes weed, relaxes, you know, <laughs> chill. So that would be potentially yeah. a statement. So, you, excuse me, I love your fashion. Yeah. I, I really kind of like this Californian vibe that you've got, but I've got to ask, are you American? Yeah, yeah. And then she might say yes and be like, oh, I know, I know. Whereabouts in America are you from? And then she'll say, oh, I'm actually, I'm from New York. And you can go, really? I would never have guessed New York. I would have thought you would have been on the West Coast rather than the East yes. Coast. Yes, okay. Right. How, how as, an, as someone from New York, how have you got such an amazing fashion? Yeah, you know, simple as that. Yeah, and it gives her the opportunity to open up. And also, uh, it allows her to invest a bit more in your conversation. Rather than you having to do all of the work and trying to, like, guess and be like, Oh, actually, yeah. You also look like you might be a trainer, and then you yeah, might yeah. also look like you own a yacht. And then All of this, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's too, too much. It's too, too, much, it's yeah. too try hard, yeah. and then it puts even more pressure on you because essentially you're kind of becoming the entertainer in the conversation. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And, and that's not what you want. As soon as that, you start feeling like you're going down that path, yeah, it, I can honestly say it makes it a lot more difficult to try and get a result because then when it comes to asking for the number. It, it might also be just for entertainment purposes. You might not see you in that attractive way yeah. unless there's that feeling of that. I, I got you. So, so, yeah, that's just something to consider at least with that. So, yep. ready for the headphones? Yes. So, if you want to put them on. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
I didn't really get attention on that one. Yeah. I don't think yeah. at all. So. Also, as you went to kind of do the authority stuff, your hand was very low down. Okay. So um, people aren't necessarily going to be looking down. And also, when you speak lower and quieter, uh, especially at that angle, um, it's, yeah, no, one, no one's really going to stop with that. Yeah. You have to get certainly a lot closer, yeah. more in front, hand needs to be higher up. I'd probably say like like chest level. Chest up, yeah. So you'd be like, like stop, one sec. Okay. You know, yeah. imagine like if you were telling off a friend who was just like constantly chatting for a movie, you'd be like, yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, you'd have that kind of authority, You'll have that authority yeah. over it. So I think really, I mean, there's only so much with that. I mean, she did have headphones on. Yeah. I, I know we pointed that out. Um, before she actually did, well, before you did the approach. Yeah. Um, so it's understandable, like, she was in another world. As she, she, yeah, she, yeah, yeah. Um, she had the umbrella on, she, um, up, so she was also focusing on making sure she was holding that. Yeah. So attention was completely elsewhere. Um, but I think, yeah, just those small things. Hand a bit higher up when you're going to stop. Um, definitely, uh, I'd probably say just smile a bit more as well. Yep. Um, and also just get more in front. But we've kind of already said, with that, yep. imagine she's dropped her wallet or she's dropped her keys or something important and you are getting her attention so sure. you can give the item back Absolutely. to her. Um, and yeah, that's, that's probably all I would say really with that one. So if you want to headphones on again. Yep. So 550. Excuse me. Hi. Uh, I know this is. Um... That's funny. Just that was a blowout. So. Yeah. So I think really just the the, the main reason I, I kind of definitely had selected that. Yeah. Was essentially that it was just. Uh, the, the follow pretty much went on for too long. Yes. And then there were moments that you were definitely just way too close. Yeah. Uh, and you should have just gone for it. Like, uh, I thought it was funny that you had the stretch before she crossed over the road, on yeah. the first bit. And then on the other side of the road, she'd gone up to the traffic lights and you essentially you managed to go all the way up to her and stand like right next to her almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And didn't do anything there. And then you cross over the road, and then it was super crowded, so then you waited a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just um, hesitation. I'm yeah, and then when you went for it, she just wasn't interested yeah, anyway. Sure. So, yeah, if, if anything, I think just the main thing with that, again, go quicker. Better just to kind of find out as soon as rather than wasting all that time yes. with, with the approach. Because I did, I thought it was funny that just how much you cross literally two roads yeah, yeah, yeah. to just get there, no thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think as well, like it kind of kills your energy when you, you're following someone for so long. It does, that was yeah. a good two minutes, sure. that was. So um, I think, yeah, just being a bit quicker with the decision, especially as soon as you see the window of opportunity. Yeah. Um, if it starts getting to a point that actually, you know what, I'm, I'm not feeling it, it's okay to change your mind yeah, sure. it, um, as well. Like I would have said, uh, because of the two moments that you had the windows of opportunity, if you'd, uh, before, if you'd have not done it at 
the traffic lights, I probably would have said, don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, because if you weren't going to do it before those traffic lights, it probably wouldn't have been worth it I got you. afterwards. Because uh, the situation was just getting more and more, more challenging. More, yeah, it was, you, yeah, it was, it was. Um, in the end. And, and look, it just wasn't worth it yeah, after yeah, all yeah. that. She just was like, no, no thank you. Exactly. Um, so that was that. 